Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on approximation and errors. In this video, we'll be looking at error and percentage error. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the first video on approximation and errors. You can also visit our website www.oninaresources.com to get more videos. Now we look at formulae. The formulae we are going to be using in this error and percentage error. So the first one is error. Error is measured value minus the actual value, while the percentage error is error over the actual value times 100%. And for your information, the percentage error can either be negative or positive. And the negative or positive value is coming from the error. If the measured value is greater than the actual value, the error made is positive. But if the measured value is less than the actual value, the error is going to be negative. And if the error is negative and it is not specified, it is still acceptable. So we go with some problems, starting with problem one. Problem one, the height of a building is measured as 7 meters to the nearest meter. What is the range of values of its actual height? Calculate the percentage error. The first part is similar to our first video, so you check it out. Then in our solution, um, our measured value here is 7 meter, which is the approximated value, and it is to the nearest meter. So we can get our error from here. Our error is going to be obtained from this nearest meter, and the smallest meter we are looking at is 1 meter. We divide it by 2 which gives 0 0.5 and that will represent our error which is going to be positive or negative 0 0.5 meters then we can now from here get our range of actual height of the building it's going to be 7 meters plus or minus 0 0.5 and 7 minus 0 0.5 gives 0 0.5 meters and the second value is going to be 7 plus 0 0.5 which gives 7.5 meters so we have answered the first part of the question the second part is calculate the percentage error so the percentage error now is going to be the error over this value we are given which is 7 multiplied by 100 percent and from our calculator we have it as plus or minus 7.14 percent so we give it as plus or minus 7.14 percent to three significant figures and that's the end of solution to problem one we go to problem two for problem two the distance between two points is eight meters a man measures it as 8.3 meters calculate his percentage error so in our solution we need to identify the error and the error is measured value minus the actual measurement. The measured value here is 8.3 meters minus 8 meters and that is going to give us 0 0.3 meters. This is positive error here and our percentage error now is going to be the error which is 0 0.3 meters over the actual measurement which is 8 times 100 percent and that gives 3.75 percent error committed by the man in measuring the distance between the two points and that's all for the solution of problem two we go to problem three for problem three a girl measures the length of a stick as 43 centimeters. If the true length of the stick is 45 centimeters, calculate her percentage error. 
And again, to the solution of this problem, we have our error. Our error is going to be 43 minus 45. Egel measures the length of a stick. This is the measured value, and this is the actual value. So this is going to give us negative 2 centimeters. The error here is negative. So we now have our percentage error as negative 2 over the true value, which is over 45, then times 100 percent. And this gives negative 4.4444 percent and uh, approximately negative 4.4 percent to one decimal place. And that's all for problem three. We go to problem four. Problem four, a student made an error of 2.5% for recording the volume of an acid as 20.5 cubic centimeters. What is the actual volume of the acid? So we look at our solution from here. Let the actual volume be X. Our error is going to be the measured value, which is 20.5 then minus the actual value which is x and we are giving the percentage error to be 2.5 percent so from here we can connect 2.5 percent is equal to 20.5 minus x over the actual value which is what x then times 100 percent um this we go with this we use this to multiply everything here then cross multiply those that are going to give us 2.5x is equal to 2050 minus 100x. That is after multiplying the numerator by 100. And uh, from here, we bring this to this side. So 102.5x is equal to 2050. Remember, if minus 100x is coming here, it becomes plus. So plus 2.5 gives 102.5x. So our x is going to be 2050 divided by 102.5, and that gives 20. So the actual volume of the acid is 20 cubic centimeters. And that's all for problem four. We then go to problem five. For problem five, a pole is 12 meters long. In measuring the pool, a surveyor made an error of 3%. Find two possible values for his measurement. Let's start the solution of the problem. This is the actual measurement. So we are looking for two values for the measurement of the surveyor. Okay, so we, since the error made is 3%, so we can calculate the error by calculating 3% of 12 meters. So that's going to be 12 times 3 over 100. So that's going to give us 0 0.36 meters. If the error is negative, then the first possible value of the surveyor's measurement is going to be 12 minus 0 0.36. And that will give us 11.64 meters. And the second possible value is going to be positive. So that's going to be 12.5 plus 0 0.36. That's plus the error. And that will give us 12.36 meters. That's all for the solution of problem 5. We then go to problem 6. For problem six, a square is eight centimeters by eight centimeters. A student measures a side at 7.8 centimeters and uses the measurement to calculate the perimeter and area of the square. Calculate the percentage error in A, perimeter, B, area of the square. We still remember the formula for calculating the perimeter and area of a square so we start the solution from a uh, for a we are going to get the actual perimeter 
So that's going to give us 4 times 8 centimeters. And that's going to give us 32 centimeters. And the measured perimeter or the new perimeter of the student is going to be 4 times 7.8 since this is the measured length of the side. So we have it as 31.32 centimeters. Then to get the error in perimeter, it is going to be the measured perimeter, which is 31.2 minus the actual perimeter. And that gives negative 0.8 centimeters. Then for the percentage error in perimeter, it is going to be negative 0.8 over the actual perimeter, which is 32 times 100%. And that gives the error in perimeter to be negative 2.5%. And that's all for A. We go for B. For B, the area will be calculated for both the actual measurement and the measured value. So that we now have our actual area. Area of a square is L squared. So we have it as 8 times 8, which gives 64 squared centimeters. And the measured or the new area now from the measurement of the boy is going to be 7.8 times 7.8. And that gives 60.84 squared centimeters. Now, the error in area is going to be the measured area, which is 60.84 minus 64, and that gives negative 3.16. Now, the percentage error in the area of the square is going to be negative 3.16 over the actual area, which is 64 times 100%. And that gives our answer as negative 4.9375 percent as the percentage error in the area of the square as measured by the board and that's all for the solution of problem six this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it like and share this video also remember to subscribe to our youtube channel until we come your way again goodbye